Hey everybody, my name's Jay. I've been on the carnivore diet for nine out of the last 11 months, and in that time I've lost about 70 pounds. There are some periods where it's not easy to stay on this diet. A lot of carnivore content creators will say, oh, it's the greatest diet. You can eat as much meat as you want. It's delicious. You'll never be hungry. It's so satisfying and you'll feel great. Well, in my experience, that's true, but it has its hard points too, just like any other diet. And I've really been struggling for the last couple weeks. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's been happening. Then I'll talk a bit about how I get out of these inevitable funks when they come along. So I'm in Elizabeth Park in Hartford, Connecticut. It's one of my favorite places to walk in the morning. It'll be more crowded later in the day and kind of noisy, but right now it's really peaceful. Great place to sit and talk. So I noticed that there are a lot of comments on my channel from people who've just started the carnivore diet. Also people who've been doing it for a while. This is more addressed to the beginner carnivores. I want to caution you. Like I said at the beginning, a lot of content creators will tout how easy the carnivore diet is. The weight just falls off, which to some extent is true. But like any other diet, you have to look at a lot of your habits. You'll hit frustration points. For me, the first month of carnivore was really, really tough. Then it got a lot easier and I started losing weight faster. But I'll never forget how hard that first month of carnivore was. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've hit a plateau. I decided to up my game and start the lion diet. Now, if you're doing carnivore, you can eat pretty much any animal products you want. You can eat beef, you can eat pork, chicken, dairy, cheese, milk. It's all considered carnivore. Not that I like to live by a lot of rules anyway, but I did do that for a few months and I saw just how effective it is. But then I hit my plateau and realized I had to step up my game. So a couple of weeks ago, I started the lion diet, which is carnivore on steroids. In a nutshell, you eat only the meat of ruminant animals, animals who eat grass, like beef, bison, deer, sheep. Those are all examples of ruminant animals. Now I thought since I'd been on the carnivore diet for a few months that it would be easy. Was I ever wrong? The last two weeks have really sucked. It's been such a struggle to stay on this diet and not go back to my looser carnivore ways of eating. It hasn't helped that I've been kind of under the weather for the last couple weeks. I feel like I have a low-grade cold, low-grade fever, just feel a little achy, don't want to do a lot of things. This could be keto flu. I was eating a lot of dairy before I started with lion diet. Dairy has carbs. A lot of people don't realize it, but a quart of milk, and I would drink raw milk, has as many carbohydrates as an apple and a banana. Add some half and half to your coffee in the morning, and that's almost equal to having a piece of chocolate cake. So it kind of negates the benefits of carnivore. It also means that once I started this hardcore lion diet, I experienced carbohydrate withdrawals once again. So yeah, my low grade fever and flu could be a side effect of having stopped carbs, but I don't know. I haven't been going out, I haven't been exercising, I haven't been to the gym, and I've just really been feeling kind of stuck. You'll probably experience the same thing on the carnivore diet, at least in the beginning. Now another thing I started asking myself is, why am I putting myself through this? I could, I could just do a keto diet, have some of the things that I want to have, not be so hardcore, and enjoy life a little bit more. So why do I do this diet? Why am I so concerned about my weight? Why am I living like a freaking monk, except eating meat instead of vegetarian, but restricting so many things in my life? I'm not drinking, I'm trying to give up coffee. My diet consists of like three things now, beef, lamb, and eggs. I know eggs aren't considered lion, but you know what? I don't care. I'm eating them anyway. Something intuitively tells me that the yolk of eggs is highly nutritious and really goes well with my system. So I'm adding three or four egg yolks to my ground beef every day. But why am I doing this? And if you're visiting my channel, thinking about doing this or doing it yourself, why are you doing it? Why are you making these sacrifices? Is it really worth it? Well, I got an answer to my question last night. And I think the answer will help you keep on this path too, if you've chosen to do this. An old friend was in town and we went out for dinner last night. I haven't seen him in years, probably 10 years. Last time I saw him, he had just been diagnosed with diabetes when it was extremely overweight, terrible diet, drank a lot, not doing well at all. So we went out for Italian food last night. I didn't really want to. I was thinking more like Brazilian where I could just stick to meat and not deal with anything that had sauces and having to substitute and all of that. But there were other people coming and the group decided on the restaurant and I just kind of tagged along. Most of them I hadn't seen in five or 10 years either. 
I'd see them in their late 40s and now we're all hitting 60. Every one of my friends was obese. They hadn't been 10, 15 years ago. I don't remember them being over, overweight and so am I. So I'm not any better. In fact, I was 120 pounds overweight when I started this diet. So I really let myself go. The difference is I've made a concerted effort to make a change and I've done the things that I need to do to enact that change and I've lost 70 pounds. Now I'm only 40 or 50 pounds overweight which is a huge improvement and I, I feel 10 times better. My friend that I hadn't seen for a while who was diagnosed with diabetes has also been dieting. He's been doing really well. He's probably lost 100 pounds in great shape. Diabetes is totally under control. He doesn't take any medication anymore and he's very careful about his carbs. So he kind of got it last night when I asked for a steak without any sauce, just a plain steak. He did a cheat night and had pasta. More power to him if he can have the occasional cheat night and keep on the path. I can't do that, so I had my steak. But I took a lot of ribbing from all of my other friends who I hadn't seen in a long time. They were all eating pastas, creamy vegetable dishes. As I was ordering, I was tempted to do a cheat night of my own. All I had to do was look around at the group and say, yeah, I made my decision. I don't want to be like that anymore. And so I happily ate my steak, drank my seltzer water, and got through the dinner with, without any incident. Woke up this morning, recommitted to my carnivore diet. And you know what's really interesting? I got a couple emails from friends that were at the dinner asking me exactly what I'm doing, saying that they'd really love to get back into better shape themselves. So I gave my little spiel, told them about my YouTube channel, and said that it's just a mind game. You've got to let go of all the old habits, all the old ways of looking at food as comfort, and make some serious changes. We'll see how it goes. I don't know about these guys. Sometimes they can be a little bit vicious. What do you think? You gonna try to have me for breakfast? Big feet. So if you're on the carnivore diet, don't expect it to be totally easy. It's, it's especially hard in the first month, but there will be times throughout the carnivore diet where you're gonna feel like you're missing something, uh, mainly because it's so different from what other people do. But the most important thing is, if you're going to do this, if you're going to lose the weight, just set your goal, keep heading in the right direction. And most important, what looks like it might be fun when other people do it, may not be in the end. It may be short-term fun, but in the long term, may not be so pleasant. Keep that in mind as you go out with friends and see how they're living their lives, and never think of yourself as superior in any way for doing this diet or taking this initiative. We've all been eating poorly for many years and if you're watching this channel you're like me you got yourself into a bad spot so it's not like we're any better than anyone else we're just trying to make a change for ourselves hmm. i just kind of lost myself in the flowers here for a few minutes they have some beautiful gardens in this park <laughs> on the other side is the elizabeth park rose garden it's actually quite famous uh, not in season anymore though. The roses have their time in June. Let's see if these have a smell. Ooh, delicious. Hmm. Those are very pungent roses. Those have no smell at all. Funny how the roses, can, some of them can smell so good and others no smell. So for me, the benefits of being on this diet have far outweighed the sense of restriction that it brings. Yeah, I don't go out as much anymore. I don't eat nearly as many different types of food. I don't find myself having great restaurant meals anymore. But that sense of always trying to get the next good thing has been replaced with a sense of peace. I find more time to think, I find more time to walk, I find more time to exercise, I find more time to read stuff that I want to read, and in general, my life, although much more calm and disciplined on this diet, is a lot more pleasant. I've replaced short-term pleasure with long-term serenity. If you're under 50, this isn't going to make a lot of sense, it's not going to sound pleasant, it's not going to sound like anything you'd want to do. But there comes a time in life, once you hit maybe 50, 55, it's different for all of us. Sometimes people get to it when they're in their 30s. But at that time, the transient pleasures become less important. And you realize that fulfillment doesn't come from hanging around at the bar with your friends or the next rich 
expensive dinner. It's being fully aware of that that keeps me on the diet, keeps me from slipping, and gets me through these periods where it's not easy. And there will be those periods too. So if you're starting out on this diet, or if you're hitting a hard spot, just keep that in mind. Keep the long-term picture in mind. Have a good rest of your day, keep eating meat, and I'll see you in the next video.